last session we have discussed about we have discussed j unit introduction software installations project structure comma coding standards comma coding standards we had okay, discussed about j unit introduction software installations project structure comma coding standards and today we are going to okay, discuss about j unit annotations j unit asset methods annotations methods and j unit life cycle with simple example fourth one we'll do some poc examples group of concepts like if you before we start implementing the project <laughs> now how this j unit will work one simple calculator application you can um, more strong on a syntaxes another one is we will go for one order and service how it is works this is our plan today let us see how much it would be done what are the annotations are available in our j unit t j unit annotations j unit annotations now what are the j unit annotations are there one is other it and with other it before other it other it test other it before other it after other it ignore remember first example these are the j unit 4.x annotations i will explain 5.x also team don't worry don't worry team okay now now team these are the j unit 4.x annotations i will give a one line one line statements team so to execute group of j unit classes at once we should use other rate run with other rate before class to execute this annotation this annotation will execute this annotation will execute before this execute while loading the classes while loading the j unit class that means i will explain to him before executing all the test cases this annotation will unloading the j unit class after executing all the test cases after executing all the test cases team now next one team this annotation is used to execute the test cases before executing every test case this annotation will be executed after executing after executing every test case this annotation will be executed ignore the test case what is a test case i will explain everything team please try to understand now simple example i will write in public class j unit demo same code i will copy paste in okay clips please try to understand it will start it will take some time now public void setup public void setup why setup and all i will explain later before setup public static void before only once for all test cases before only once for all test cases void after only once for all test cases public void setup public void setup public void setup public void tear down no see no public void okay test m1 public void okay test m2 is one of test case two system dot out dot print ln you can write only one system dot out dot print ln before only once for all of test cases only once for all test cases after only once for all test cases after only once for all test cases it is a setup method will be called it 
is a ear down would be called it is a m1 method would be called it is a m2 method would be called That's it. Now we'll see. So this is my simple basic unit testing. Thing. Simple basic unit testing. How to apply annotations? How to apply annotations? Thing. Okay. How to apply these annotations? If you want, we'll reduce some slowly font size. Thing. If you understand this, okay, nothing is their team. You can understand easily your unit testing team. Okay, now let's see how to apply annotations. Before execute while loading, it will be okay, unit test cases, right? Or before class. After loading, all right. At the rate after class. Now here. At the rate before. Now here. At the rate test. At the rate test team. How to represent a <coughs> normal method as a unit testing team? It is a cut rate test team. It is a at the rate tear down. At the rate before, at the rate after. These are the annotations team. It is my at the rate run with here is not required. When it is required, that will be discussed later team. I will explain team. When it is required, okay, I will explain team. Now see. Let us see. I would say move to here still somehow you would say here i will explain to you okay now let's see so how when i run this okay unit test cases team before executed before executed all the test cases this before class will be executed i would say it is called one next flow will come to here before executed once all the test cases team before executed all the test cases which one will be executed this one will be executed if you want to understand team let me explain i would give that would be good team You can understand easily team because these basics are okay required in market on the power market or team everywhere it is required now before executing all the circuit test cases team this method would be executed this method would be executed i would say it is called one How to represent a normal method as a test case means at the rate of a test team. Now next one. Before execute, before execute every test case team. How many test cases we have? Two okay test cases. How many okay test cases we have? We have two okay test cases. Before executing okay, every okay test case team, it should go to where? Here. Here it would be called two. After execute now here then okay, test case will be executed okay, inside of the okay, test case will be executed it is three after executing this okay, test case team it will go to where this one it is called four now okay next test case i have can anyone explain okay next test case if you understood the first test case anyone before executed this one first each one will be executed team this one team at the rate setup will be executed it is five now test case will execute okay 
no after executed this circuit test case now here what happened here okay after executing all of everything this 8 will execute it here. 8 will execute when we run the application now here what is the output you know now you will get when we run the application what is the output you know this is the first one next one next one now next one tear down so now next one go to here setup m2 just try to understand before executed every test case before executing okay okay every okay test case it is our output team now here see it is done every test case team at the rate before call at the rate after call at the rate before call at the rate after call after executing all of the test cases team after after all after only after only once are all test cases executed that's it this is the way how how the this is the way how the of unit testing work it is the way how the life cycle team are we clear team anyone or any questions please ask me i am happy to help you team are you clear team okay everyone okay, everyone team okay, are we clear team okay everyone please so that i would start team i would start if you understand in this flow team it would be easy it is a 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 10. doesn't matter you will be using spring unit testing you will be using marketo you will be using power marketo doesn't matter team before executing all the unit test cases we loading the class only before class will be executed after executing all the unit test cases while unloading the class only at the rate after class will be executed before executing every test case at the rate before will be called after executing every test case at the rate after would be called same thing good team good now i would jump into my practical session team i would jump into my practical session file new maven project create simple project com dot stino tech j unit j unit demo whatever version you can give it's not a, a big matter j unit demo this is unit testing demo is unit testing demo team okay no clear no clear team click on finish click on finish team let's see team first what you will do team have to work on you have to add j unit dependencies okay now this jar is enough team this will bring this one and this one okay. 
Okay, now. New, I am CO cup zero. I am writing up a unit testing here. New class. Okay, I will write how okay, exactly. New class simple arm dot tenotech. I will write okay, okay, next example. New class arm dot tenotech demo j unit demo test. Doesn't matter, you have to follow. standards no need comments and all okay good to reduce our time i would copy all our code N nothing is there here new here i'm copying into here i can type it but it's a small only i don't think so it's a big one it's a small only where is the issue system is the issue that's it control shift r uh -huh. alt shift r rename wherever you want rename you can rename the shortcut is alt shift r alt plus shift plus r wherever you want you can rename i did one place it will be reflecting into all other places now you want at the rate before class while loading the class only static classes only it will be loaded while unloading the class order is not important any order we can give after class only it will be executed order is important team any order we can give order is not important no just for more understanding i am writing at the rate before Rate after oh, rate test no at the rate test understand team this is the way how it works super team now now okay, let's see team. Okay, let's see team. Now I am running my application. Run as J unit test. A J unit class, at least one other rated test is mandatory. I will write all these points team. See. If you will not write anything, here you will not get any J unit. Here you will not get anything. You will not get any J unit. Your class should have okay, your class should have at least one other test is required. Then only it will treat as a it is a J unit class. Otherwise, it will treat as a it is a normal class. It is not a unit test class. It's a normal concrete class. It won't treat as a unit test class. It won't treat as a unit test class. Got it, team. Now, please try to understand. See, if I add at least one, then you will see it is a unit testing. If I add at least one, then it is a unit testing. If I add at least one, then it is a unit testing. So, every unit test class, at least one at the rate test is mandatory. At least one other rate of test is mandatory. No, I am adding here to no problem. I am adding here to no problem. Run as J unit test. See, I have run this application. You can compare. Is there any difference? You can compare it in, is there any difference team? See? 
before executed all the test cases don't tell uh, okay this uh, you know the okay, gigi calls are like a difference setup test m1 tear down setup test m2 tear down after executing after only once for all test cases are executed that's it or not understand team okay everyone understand team so now let's see here you are right click on it run as mvn install team but by default your maven will check if you go here by default your maven will check team go to here go to this location Go to this location. MVN clean installed. MVN clean. Okay, okay, installed. It will before build jar. It will first execute unit test cases. If all the test cases are working fine, then only it will build the jar. Otherwise, it will build the error. Error scenario. I will explain in next example here only. Let's see. See team, how many test cases we have? Test cases are two. Okay, test run, how many? Two. Failures are zero. Errors are zero. Skipped, how many? Zero. Errors are zero. Skipped are zero. See now. So this is the what, how, how it is. I am not running any run as J unit. First, it will execute the unit test cases by Maven. If it is working, all I will explain more on failure, success. I will explain skip code. I will explain if all of your unit okay, test cases are executed, then only this code is okay working. Team. Then only it will build the jar. If any one of them it will fail, right? This will not build. That use case I will explain next one. Now go to simple class team. New class com dot sinotech dot calculator calculator demo now public void m1 and add into a into b if <coughs> into result if a greater than b return a else Simple team. I have some simple business logics. If a greater than b, return a plus b. Because if a less than b, it's a least value written as it is. In case of least value, add it. In case of greater value, send it. Now, public int sub int a comma int b. So you have to write your business logics. If a greater than b, then only return a minus b. Remove from bigger value to smaller value. Else, return b value. Like that, we have some business logic team. Public int multiplication int a into b. We have one simple application team return a star b don't think sorry as okay explained don't think sorry as okay explained very simple way no you will be seeing okay importance later class
you will be seeing okay, importance of this okay, later one all basics we are be strong it is my source code if you are strong on basics you can play games like okay, anything team okay trust me team it is it is normal class see how to write unit test cases before write unit test cases we should follow the basic we should follow the some guidelines we should follow the some recommendations we should follow the below recommendations what are the recommendations one first recommendation try to understand the source code of the project that means a what is the input b what is the output c what is the business logic and what it does what is the business logic and what it does this is very very important thing see writing unit test cases it's a it's a wrong way team you are writing more than your project source code then only the okay, it will be value added to your project team i know how to write a time pass unit test cases also i know next one right as many as test cases team each functionality suppose add functionality see don't think uh, add is only some no you have to write for this add functionality write as many as okay test cases for add functionality what are the add functionality test cases number one add functionality test cases number one test positive numbers in case of positive numbers test for positive numbers how your application is working both values are positive numbers how your application is working test both values are negative numbers how your application is working test one value is positive other value is negative it's, you should feel like you should think okay, out of the box team please you have to understand this source code here is simple you will pass a is a bigger b is a smaller is your business logic is working or not second test case a is a smaller, B is a bigger. In this case, flow will go there. Is it working or not? Third one, both values are negative. How it is working? Both values are positive. How it works? Both values are greater than 10 digits. Is it adding is working or not? What is your business requirement? What is the maximum length of okay? integer input what is your business requirement of integer input how to test it understood team hope okay everyone okay with me team so you have to write everything team you have to write everything how the testers will think business of functionality that's why if your qa team will tell Hey, maximum integer number is some 10 lakhs or 1 crore. Is it your business logic would support for 1 crore plus 1 crore, 2 crore will be supported or not supported? If you send more than 1 crore value, is your business logic is accepting or rejecting? What is the business requirement? If user will send more than 1 crore value, should I send any error responses 
or what is that that kind of granular level you should be you think team and you have to write a test case it's not like every method is a one other test method that's wrong team every test case will have a other test team i will explain how to write a test cases now the next one team i had to write a test cases now here as many as a test cases team we similarly we should apply for sub and multiplication all other functionalities all other functionalities team next one team okay let us see first we will write one thing how to write see directly you can create it or you will go to here new test class j you need to create test case see it is automatically redirecting to src test java it is automatically redirecting to src test class java here package is equal to this one and calculator demo test team here done i am adding setup and tier down let's see we don't need this one no comments are required next only add method click on submit so it's not like add method means okay, it's not like only one team test add in case of test add for positive numbers test add for if this place is not working in this method for positive for positive only add only same how to write a test cases these are called a test cases write as many as test cases it's not like add method is only one test case that's wrong that's wrong intros are asking how to write the unit testing your project can you please explain you should be in the position to write the snippet of the code for your project how to do negative numbers both positive and negative how it works so for larger numbers for large numbers how it works <laughs> large positive numbers how it works only so on team you have to write all now how to do how to test this one team please try to understand it is a calculator demo no dot add method both are positive 10 comma 20 what is the output whenever this statement will execute flow will go where here your j unit will executed your source code line by line is it okay 10 greater than equal to 20 no what is the result 30 now here result here actually j unit methods will come set dot set equals set dot asset equals so many j unit methods are there result what is expected result Thank you.
from here you are expecting okay what is expected result 30 what is the actual result so both are should be match this okay test case would be passed else this okay test case would be failure j unit framework one second set ORG J unit asset. It is a bit deprecated. Let's see. Not J unit framework. ORG J unit asset equals. There are so many triple X methods are there. Triple X means asset, asset, asset. Asset equals. What you are expecting? What you are expected? What is the result? If this both are same, your test case will be false. Else your test case would be failure. Else your test case would be failure. Say. Here both are whenever this statement will execute, flow will go where here minus 10 greater than minus 20. Is it true? Yes. Now what it returns? A value. Output is minus 10. Let us you pass intentionally minus 20. Let's see what happens. Go to the next one. Both positive and negative. Positive and negative is both are greater than output is minus 10. Why? If you go here, this will be executed. No, flow will come to here minus 10 plus 20 plus 10. Last one, largest value comes to here, goes to here. Add one lakh, add two lakhs, or whatever it. Just I am telling you, it depends upon the requirement. Now, what is our output here? Three lakhs. Twenty. So now, when I run this application, so now here what happened? See, every test case, this is common, right? Creation of object is common, right? The common which you have there should move into where? I'm making this as null. No. Here, you should take it as. order is not important just for understanding I mean. so wherever before executing a every test case this will be called if you want i can add a okay so we already we have seen control d i can delete control d i can delete control d i can delete now if i run okay how many okay, test cases here how many you can explain control o how many okay, test cases team here? Can anyone guess team? Four. Yeah. Out of four, all are all are pass team. All okay, test cases are pass. All okay, test cases are pass. Are <laughs> check once and let me know. Okay, first test case, second test case, third test case. Now oh, let's see. How many are pass? How many are failure team? See. One test case got failure team. Whenever any of the test case would be failure, your unit test code will not execute team. See here. If any test case is failure, your unit test code will not execute. Your Maven build will give failure team. See. Total are six. Why? 
it is it is scanning whole code earlier in my previous unit test cases already two are there here four is there out of total six how many failure two got failure why two got failure team for negative numbers it is failure see okay if it is negative okay expected a minus 20 but it was minus 10 okay let us fix the issue which one expected minus 20 but this one what is the test case name here positive and both of negative numbers okay i did fix let's go yeah let's go now which one for negative numbers expected minus 20 but it was for negative numbers test add for negative numbers expected minus 20 but it was 10 we have given correct only right expected minus 20 but it was minus 10 test to add for no 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 positive and it is okay why it is not building still refresh we are clean oh man still to our failure what is the error calculator of a demo test assertion error expected minus 20 but it was minus 10 let us see another one is okay which one it is negative numbers when i executed this okay negative numbers minus 10 minus 20 minus 10 minus 20 is it true team yes if it is true if it is true means minus 10 larger value output is minus 10 only if it is true minus 10 only output is okay but go for here both 10 greater than 20 10 greater than minus 20 10 minus 20 output is here minus 10 let's see now one error team what is one error for positive and negative numbers expected minus 10 but it was minus 10 no we haven't to give minus 10 only 10 minus 20 okay 10 greater than yeah go to here 10 minus 20 10 20 it's a true 10 value positive that's it so like that you have to write our business logics are correct or not here is a simple simple one in your real time so many business logic of use cases will be there you have to have you testing your code properly or not make sure your entire code is working properly or not see total like test cases are six failures are zero error is zero skip is equal to zero okay, that's it team. run same here run as unit testing or you can run run as unit testing that's it see now understood team now here test case 
Let us see our okay. tree. One is pass means expected output. Will match actual output. Will show as green color. To error, to fail. Expected output will not match actual output. Will show as red color. What one error? No output due to some code issue, it will exit, it will execute in, it will, it will execute, it will exit the flow, it will execute the, it will exit the flow in the, it will exit in middle of execution. No color. No color will be displayed. No color will be displayed. Color will be okay. This is the way how how it should work. How it should work. Now color will be displayed. Fourth one. Every test, every J unit class, at least one other rate test annotation, at least one test annotation is mandatory. Otherwise, it will treat as normal class. Normal class okay, instead of J unit class. Fifth one. Every test method should have every test method at least zero or more set to triplex methods. Set triplex methods so that output can be compared output can be compared output okay, output can be compared in more in more possible ways output can be compared in more possible ways too. did you get it team similarly we should use for okay, subtraction you should use for additions and all that will explain team that will explain is it clear team of okay, everyone Okay.